Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. I really like the sun in the window today. So I wanted to do what is in my collection. I just wanted to show you all the handbags that I have. Some of them are going to be repeats from the other videos that I have on my channel. So if you've seen my other ones, you're going to see some familiar bags. So the first bag that I have in my collection is this beautiful, beautiful suede bag from Gianni Chiarini. And this is in the style Alifa. That's what it's called. They have like all different kinds of colors and materials that it's made of. I got this suede one last year. It was on sale during one of their end of season sales. And I just fell in love with the brown colored suede. I was looking for a brown suede bag for like the longest time. I was looking at this brand for a while and I didn't really know what color or what kind of bag to get but then I saw this one and I'm like yep yeah, this is this is the one <laughs> I really like how I can just wear it on my shoulder and it's really easy going it's really light it's not heavy or anything whatsoever it's like all leather all over the bag I love it and then of course if you remember the Lady Dior bag from my previous video I am so in love with this bag. I just can't say enough about this. I've worn it out a few times already and I just feel like it just goes with my outfit so well. And it's just one of those kinds of bags that I feel just go with my vibe, if that makes sense. Like everyone has like a certain vibe, they dress a certain way or like they have a certain aesthetic, but I just feel like this is one of the first bags that I truly feel comfortable wearing in any type of outfit, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, but just like whatever I throw on and I just carry this bag, I just, I just feel like it's perfect with everything. So yeah, I'm just super excited to just continue wearing it. I'm actually wanting to get some more Dior bags. This was like the first Dior bag I ever got. And I have since been looking at their other bags. I'm not going to get one anytime soon, I think. But their Caro bags are absolutely gorgeous. Their DJOY bags are actually beautiful as well. I was looking at all the different colors they have. And I was thinking of maybe looking at either a small or a mini size in the Lady Dior as well. Simply because, you know, this since this bag and this style has worked so well for me so far, I know that if I were to get it in a different size and a different color, you know, it's it would be a really nice addition. If you remember from my other video as well, the Paris Paris bag by Amy Paris. Lots of Paris in there, but this has also been such a great purchase of mine. I was initially wanting to look at the Hermes Constance bags, especially in black with gold hardware, in box leather. And you know what? Ever since I got this, I have not wanted to look at the Constance bag <laughs> because it just, I guess, satisfies that craving for wanting a box leather saddle type bag that I can wear crossbody or on the shoulder. And it's just so elegant looking when I pair it with my outfits, especially over like a black winter wool type of coat. It looks absolutely stunning, stunning. So yeah, again, I just, I love this one. And the next one in my collection is this Louis Vuitton bag. It is called the Ilovo and it's in the PM size. And I got this pre-loved actually. It's from 2005, but it's still in such amazing condition. And I love that I can fit so much stuff in here and it has a zipper on top. That's like the most important thing to me, that it has a zipper, that it closes, it's not just open. I was actually looking at the Graceful PM by Louis Vuitton because I really like the style of that bag. I like how like easygoing it is. But to be honest with you, I'm not too excited about it having just a little magnetic 
top closure, which I've heard most of the time doesn't even stay closed. It just flops open because it's such a weak little magnet in there. So I found this, I think last year or the year before that is when I found this, um, from a pre-loved site for about like $600. And yeah, absolutely love it. No issues whatsoever in great condition. I love it. I figure might as well do a little Lululemon bag showcase. I have quite the collection so far. I don't think I'm going to get any more because honestly, these are more than enough. I just wanted to get some basic colors. I started out with this light color, then I got the black one, and then I got this color, and then I got the lilac, and then I recently just added this red super super beautiful red one i think you only need the basic colors and you're able to wear them in so many different ways super super casually on the day-to-day -day basis i tend not to take my more expensive bags out when i'm just like going on quick errands or when i know that what i'm going to be doing is going to involve me getting groceries or picking up things or whatever the case may be. If I know I'm gonna be in an environment where carrying a designer bag won't make any sense, I'm wearing my Lululemon. So similarly, I figured I might as well show you all of my tote bags that I have in my collection. You remember the blue one if you watch my previous video. This is from Moreau Paris and it's in the MM size. It has become one of my absolute just staples. If I need to carry more stuff than usual on a daily basis, this is the bag I'm bringing. And it always gets mistaken for a Goyard. And I'm just like, no, it is not a Goyard. <laughs> it's a Moreau. And people again are just as equally clueless because they're like, what? What is that? <laughs> what, what, is Mar what is a Moreau? I, I think people who live in France are more familiar with this brand. In the US, People just don't know about a lot of Parisian brands. Only the very, very popular ones that we all know and are well aware of. But there are plenty of other companies and brands in France that make just as beautiful bags. And they just aren't well known. I don't know why. But yeah, I have heard that Moreau Paris bags are very very well known in france and are worn often i guess i just follow different trends <laughs> um and then again this is also by moreau paris this is the gm size in the same tote bag style so i absolutely love those this one is by tori birch absolutely gorgeous i just wanted a little pop of color i got this before i got my other tote bags and I loved it because it has a zipper on top, of course. You all probably know by now I love zippers <laughs> and the fact that my bags can close. But yeah, I just, I love this one. I picked it up on sale as well. One theme that you'll see with my luxury bags or designer bags, I try to find them on sale or I try to find them pre-loved because I feel like you can just save so much money that way rather than spending and getting everything retail price. You can score some great finds too, like limited pieces or pieces that have sold out. This one is by Longchamp. This is just the large um, Le Pliage bag. It's very popular, but I wanted the all black version. So I had to hunt this one down. I found it on Bloomingdale's like a couple years back and I use this for literally everything. Whenever I go on a plane, this is my carry-on bag. Whenever I, you know, whenever I'm going into work, this is the bag I carry. If it's my laptop, if it's an organizer, if it's my water bottle, like everything I need in a day, I just throw in here and it's 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 a solid bag. So yeah, very good choice. So this beauty is by Songmont. This is from their chocolate collection and it is in the color chocolate as well. But if you can see up close, 
it actually is like a very deep red burgundy maroonish color and I absolutely love it it is such a good size it has a lot of space I love that it has a little magnet enclosure in the back so I can just slide my phone in there and close it it also has a little pocket in the middle which I've never seen in a bag before like this is the back of the bag this is the front and then just like in the top in the middle there's just like a little hole here where you can put stuff so that I thought was really interesting and then of course like there's a lot of space inside as well so it's a solid little bag and I don't know I just haven't heard a lot about Song Ma I've only really seen a lot of exposure on like Instagram and stuff I love the fact that the the leather is also like it looks like aged leather like textured leather it's gorgeous and then of course, if you remember from my other video, the beautiful bag that I showed you guys from this Italian brand called Carbody or Carbody. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I'm just amazed by how beautiful it looks. Every time I bring it out, I'm just like, okay, this is a bag that I need to wear like everywhere. Okay, like everywhere. It's absolutely stunning 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 and it's like really really good quality i'm thinking of getting more colors or maybe a different size in this they have smaller sizes and they also have um like croc embossed leather they also came out with like a smooth box leather as well in a few different colors i'm just like in love with this especially since it's black and it goes with so many different things I do also have this in tan, or I did, and I wore that bag quite a bit too, but I actually gave it to my mom because I just wasn't reaching for it enough. I feel like once I got this black one, it just changed the game for me. I was, I was bringing this everywhere. So yeah, I gave that one to my mom and I just, I love this one. So next in my collection is this Louis Vuitton Diane bag. I honestly, I have not been wearing it as much as I thought I would. When I initially bought it, I was absolutely in love with it. And I actually got it for myself as a present for getting my first job out of college. So there's a few different things about this bag that I just feel like are not exactly what I envisioned number one this hook thing is so annoying because no matter how many times i fix it and i like push it back up it just keeps coming back down like that and it just annoys me to no end so i'm thinking of getting like double-sided tape to put in between these leather pieces so that it stays in place I don't know if it's just my bag or if it's with all Diane bags, but it's just really annoying. Um, it does fit a lot. It fits a whole lot in here, but you know what? I'm, I'm glad I got it because at the time that I did, I was really excited to finally, you know, celebrate and congratulate myself at accomplishing something that I had been dreaming about. So, you know, Sometimes you just want to do something for yourself, and I'm glad that I did, but yeah, sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't. That's okay though. That's still okay. I might still sell this at some point. I'm not so sure yet, but it is still in like pristine, pristine condition. I've only worn this out a few times, honestly, and I am just like, yeah, I don't know. My tastes have changed from when I first bought this. Because when I got this, I was very, very much into the whole monogram vibe, the whole Louis Vuitton everything, and Gucci, and <laughs> all of that fun stuff. But now I feel like my taste is evolving into understated, very luxurious leathers, different colors, different styles, and just super, just elegant, elegant silhouettes. 
nothing too outrageous, nothing trendy or hype or whatever. I am looking at another Diane bag from a different brand, completely different, called Joseph Duclos. They have a Diane bag, it's a top handle, and it looks absolutely stunning, okay, stunning. It has, it has like hardware all along the edges of the bag, and it looks so elegant and just beautiful the way it like reflects whenever you carry the bag oh my oh my goodness yeah i think that is gonna be one of my next bags if i were to spend over five thousand dollars but you know what since i got my lady dior recently and another bag that i will be showing you guys in a little bit i think i'm good for like the next few years or maybe if I sell some of these bags. So let's let's see what happens. Let's just let's just see. So like I said, I was going through a whole phase of like monogram and you know wearing very basic designer brands. At the same time, this I can I can understand this because number one, it's it's like a mini bag. The crossbody is is on the inside. I just have it like this for storage, but it's a really, really cute bag to have as just a cutie patootie when when you just need to carry your phone and your wallet and your keys and that's it. Anything bigger than this? No, I would not get it. I also got this because it was a lot more affordable than some of the other options. And when I got this, I think it was still around like... 1050 or 1100 dollars somewhere around that range so honestly for gucci that is an amazing price and i really like the boxy style i had been looking for a little boxy bag for a while so i'm glad that i got it i still do bring it out i still do wear it i don't think i'm gonna sell this one it's it's just got timeless features to it like the horse bit the fact that it has brown on the accents. So this next bag that I have is the cutie little Nice Nano. I got this pre-loved through Rebag. It is absolutely adorable. Like, I just, I really like to pair this with fancier outfits and it just, I feel like it pairs so well with fancier things. I know, again, it is monogram, but since it's so tiny, it doesn't feel as obnoxious, if that makes sense. So I don't mind it at all. I also got these little D-rings to attach um, straps. I also use the Diane Bags thicker jacquard strap on here. It's a fun little, fun little tiny bag. It also fits my phone in here, which is really surprising. It fits the iPhone 13 Pro in here, but you kind of have to put it at an angle and you still have space to put other stuff. Like my, the smallest Kirigami is what I use for my card wallet. That can fit in here. The six ring key holder can also fit in here. So it, it holds quite a bit. So it may look small, but it packs, it packs. So this next one here is by Paragamo. It is an adorable top handle style bag. It also comes with a crossbody. I love this for like formal occasions. I'm always wearing this at like weddings and like formal just evening type events because a lot of the things that I wear just go with gold. <laughs> and it's honestly such a great little staple. It's unassuming, nobody knows what this is. No one knows Ferragamo too well at least in the circle that I hang out with. So I actually like that because almost everybody is wearing very visible brands. And I honestly, I feel like sometimes that makes or breaks your whole outfit. I like that this is very understated. It doesn't scream a certain designer. It could be from anywhere. It could not be designer. It doesn't matter to me. So yeah, I really like that. But I am on the hunt for another gold bag, so I'm just kind of like looking at all the different options out there. I really, really, really like Bulgari bags. They do gold bags very well. So let's see 
let's see how that goes. But for right now, this is an absolute staple of mine in my collection. So I do have another Longchamp bag in my collection. This is the mini bag. I think this is the City Les Pliage. And I mean, this color is what drew me in. It's all about the color. <laughs> I instantly fell in love with it. It's like this rusty orange color. It just pops so well on black because I'm always wearing black most of the time. And I just love how it's a lot more structured than their nylon bags because I was looking at their nylon ones, like the mini bags that they had, but again, like it's just not structured. It's just very like flappy and misshapen sometimes. So I don't know. I like this a lot more. It's not leather. It's like a coated canvas. So it's definitely not like full leather or anything, but the fact that it is coated, it tends to hold its structure a lot better. So I really like that. And then I also got these like third party, like um, the strap and I got it from AliExpress. You would be shocked by how good quality this is. It legitimately does not seem like it would come from somewhere like AliExpress. But yeah, it just has these leather um, what is it? These leather pieces that go around the handle and then they have a little button on top to close and then you can hook on the strap to the bag. So yeah, and it matches the exact color of the bag, which is also really nice. So yeah, I'm glad that I have this in my collection. A lot of people think this is a lot more expensive than it is. And I'm like, yeah, it's really not that expensive. It was like, I think it was on under $150. So for a mini bag to be a lot more affordable, that is, that's always nice. So this next bag in my collection, this is by Versace Jeans Couture. And it's a very like Prada style bag. And the time that I got this, at the time, I was looking at Prada bags and they were just out of my reach at that point. So I actually found this on sense.com and it was on sale. So I like, I was like, yes, okay, I'm gonna get this one. It comes with this pretty strap as well that says Versace jeans couture all over it. So it is, it is heavy on the branding, I will say, but you know what, sometimes you just want something branded. <laughs> I don't know. Some days, some days I'm okay with that. Some days I'm not. If you saw my previous video, the Dooney and Burke bag that I have in black. This is like in Florentine leather. I absolutely love this bag. So, so understated, very classy looking. It fits so much in here. It does get quite heavy when you fit a lot of stuff in here, but you know what, that's okay. I am totally okay with that. Um, the other bag that I did show you guys from Dooney and Burke, I am planning on selling that one because honestly, ever since I got my Lady Dior, I have not even looked at the Dooney and Burke bag, not even once. So yeah, it's just sitting there. I'm not using it, might as well sell it. But this one, this is a timeless piece for sure, absolutely. And then of course, if you watched my other video, you will remember this beautiful, beautiful bag by Moreau Paris. It's called the Diligence Bag. They no longer make it. It's really hard to find pre-loved. I had no idea these even existed. I just happened to be on Vestier Collective. I was looking for Moreau Paris bags in general and that's when I came across this beauty. <laughs> so I'm really glad that I did. It is in pristine condition, absolutely beautiful. I love to pair this with like mostly black outfits because it just adds that perfect pop of color. And it also feeds my desire of wanting a Birkin bag because uh, obviously it resembles a Birkin. But you know what? It's better than a Birkin because it has the crossbody and then 
I just feel like this style itself is just so beautiful and elegant looking. And then I also like that it doesn't involve those annoying little straps. I just love things that look different and just give me some kind of individuality because if it just seems like everyone is carrying an Hermes right now. An Hermes, a Chanel, a Louis Vuitton, and that's like the absolute epitome of fashion. And I'm like, you know what? There's so much more to fashion than those three brands. There's so much more out there, but I guess the hype is all around these three brands and it's not unique enough, you know? I, I like to be looking for things that, that give me inspiration. And of course, of course, the styles from these brands do give me inspiration and they're very beautiful styles, but they're just so overworn and they're so hyped up with everybody wearing them, all these influencers, all these famous people. It's just like, gosh, is there just nothing else out there? Like nothing? So yeah. Anyways, let me show you the bag that I have been waiting, I have been waiting to show you guys. And I want to show you before the sun goes down because looking at this bag in the absolute beautiful sunshine, oh my goodness. This is the Etro Vila bag in the largest size. And I'm sorry if there's like smudges on the metal. I, I know I can't really avoid that too much, but... You guys, this bag is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just fell in love with it the minute I saw it. It, it released last year and I saw it in the medium size, I believe and I instantly knew that it had to be in my collection. But I'm so glad that I held off because I got this for 16 or $1,700 from Satir.com. Again, check out Satir. If there's any bag that you're, in hunt, that you're on the hunt for, check out these websites because you will be able to find such good prices. Um, some other sites that I like to check out are 24S, they are an affiliate of LVMH, which um, owns Louis Vuitton and like these other luxury brands. And they have pieces from previous seasons or maybe just pieces that didn't sell well. But they do occasionally have really, really nice finds for a lot less than retail. So check that website out. Check out Setir. Sense.com also beautiful selection of designers gosh there's just so many out there Louisa via Roma they occasionally have really good prices yeah yeah and just just you know like keep your eye out on things of course do your research before if you find a website that's not really talked about or you haven't heard of do your research because you definitely don't want to spend your money and then get like scammed or something from like some random website off the internet. Be very careful. But from my experience, these few websites that I just told you about, they are a really, really good option if you're trying to find designer bags or accessories or whatever you're looking for, for a lot cheaper. So yeah, anyways, let's get into this bag. This opening, I have to do like a whole presentation on this. So this little charm lifts up over this little ball here and then the bag kind of opens on the hinges. So there's hinges on all four sides of the bag and they just kind of move freely for you. And when you wanna close the bag, you just kind of slide over the thing, the, what is this called? <laughs> the metal piece over the ball here and it just clicks into place and you can hear it like that 
it's just oh i love this it's so different it's so cute and unique and I also really like that it has this little charm on here with the little Pegasus on it. On the other side, it says Etro. And you can actually switch it over to the other side if you want. If you really wanted to change the, the look of the medallion. So yeah, I just absolutely love it. And also, you see this smaller one here? Actually close it on the smaller one as well. And you'll be able to fit a little bit more inside of the bag. So if you close it on the smaller one, the bag will stay open a little more, or like the size of it will stay a little bit less relaxed and slouchy. So then you can fit some more things in here. But honestly, I just really like the slouchy look of it. I think this is the most beautiful shape in bag that I have seen in a very long time. And then also, you can wear it like many different ways. You can wear it on your shoulder, you can just carry it with the top handle like that, and then they also have a thicker crossbody strap that you can wear on your shoulder or crossbody as well. I'm in love with it. The chocolatey brown color is everything, everything, everything. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I was looking at black as well. And then they also have like a light cream color. But the minute I saw this brown, I was like, yeah, we're gonna get the brown. There is no way I can't get the brown. <laughs> it was actually a little more expensive. Like, I don't know how the pricing works with Satir, but I'm pretty sure they work with different boutiques around Europe. So the brown color was more expensive than black. And I think the cream one was even more expensive because I think it just depends on the amount of bags they have in their stock and just how popular they are. And then the entire interior is made of suede. And it also does come with this adorable little zippered pouch, which is also in all suede. It has like etro, like on the zipper and everything. I never would have imagined that etro would make such a stunning, stunning bag. Because if you're familiar with etro, they do like very beautiful paisley designs. So they don't really make leather bags. This was like the first leather piece in in their collections so i am just ugh, i'm in love 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 i'm really excited to see what else they make and what other bags they come up with i'm i'm satisfied with my collection i think i am good i am planning on selling some of them and yeah i'm just i'm in a good spot right now in terms of bags and I feel like if I keep telling myself that, I'll listen. <laughs> Cause I always say that and I'm like backtracking on it like two months later, but no, no, this time I need to stick to it. I gotta stick to it. I gotta make sure that, you know, I'm not buying things crazily, even clothing, clothing, shoes, accessories. I gotta like chill out for a little bit because last year I went kind of nuts. I will say and honestly a lot of the things that I did get I ended up not even wearing or not liking and then selling or giving it away or donating and I just feel like that's so wasteful on my part because it's like I could have used that money somewhere else I could have spent that time and energy somewhere else not researching and trying to find the next new thing like you know what, it's okay to just relax sometimes and not be on the hunt for everything all the time, you know? Just live with what you have. Just enjoy it and embrace it. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Anyways, that was my bag collection. I feel like I may have missed a, a few of my bags. If I've missed any, I'm probably gonna show you guys in some other videos eventually. I'll see you guys next time. 
Bye.